That was torch singer Ruth Edding singing Keep Romance Alive. Ruth Edding, not all that well known today, but back in the 30s, she was one of the most popular female singers of the time. She was a staple on live radio and on Broadway and introduced such song standards as Shaking the Blues Away, Love Me or Leave Me, and Get Happy. Ruth went on to be the subject of a film biopic, Love Me or Leave Me, in which Doris Day played Ruth and Jimmy Cagney played a mobster that she eventually married with disastrous results. You can see that film right here on TCM, by the way. If you'd like to find out when it's going to air again, just search our online programming guide at turnerclassicmovies.com. Up next, we continue our salute to Thelma Todd with another film that teams her with the stars of this film, Wheeler and Woolsey. Tonight on Turner Classic Movies, we are tongue-tied for primetime feature Thelma Todd. Next, Thelma is in the 16th century with Bert Wheeler and Robert Woolsey and Cockeyed Cavaliers. Then Thelma is joined by another funny man, Joey Brown, for the maritime comedy Son of a Sailor. And legendary funny man Buster Keaton falls in love with a feisty boozing Thelma in Speak Easily. But carry a big stick tonight on Turner Classic Movies. They're everywhere you look. The million little things that make you fall in love with the movies. Shown the way you're supposed to see them. Uncut and commercial free. Turner Classic Movies. Hi, I'm Robert Osborne. Tonight we're honoring a very funny lady who is nicknamed the Hot Toddy. Thelma Todd is her name, and up next we have her in a film with one of the top comedy duos of the 1930s, Wheeler and Woolsey. Our film is called Hips Hips Hooray. It was released by RKO in 1934 and features Bert Wheeler and Robert Woolsey as a pair of street vendors who specialized in flavored lipstick, a product they take to Thelma Todd's cosmetic store. If you're not familiar with Wheeler and Woolsey, in their day, they were a comedy team almost as popular as the Marx Brothers or Laurel and Hardy. And one thing all three of those comedy teams have in common is they all worked with Thelma Todd, who was not only beautiful, but could take pratfalls with the best of them. Now, Thelma had started making people laugh back in the silent screen days and even did her own series, The Silent Shorts, which she made at the Hal Roach Studios as part of a comedy duo. First teamed with the legendary Zazu Pitts, then paired with Patsy Kelly. Well, by the time Thelma made our film, though, she was on her own and was known as one of the hardest working comedy stars in the business. That's not to say that she didn't stretch her dramatic muscles now and then. In 1931, Thelma had played a vamp in the original film version of Dashiell Hammett's novel, The Maltese Falcon. But Thelma always shined the brightest when she was making people laugh, as she does in our next film. Here it is from 1934, also with Ruth Edding in a cameo appearance, Hips Hips Hooray. <laughs> 